We're going to take a look at Ami Horowitz's new video. Ami went around New York asking people on the street if the richest people in America are paying their fair share in taxes. You can check out the full video over at Daily Wire's YouTube page. Let's get started. I'm Ami Horowitz, and the mantra of the left is that the rich don't pay their fair share in taxes. Let's go find out if that's true. Do you think the rich pay their fair share in taxes? Yeah, fuck no, dude. <laughs> Do the rich pay their fair share in taxes? Absolutely fucking not. In America, in, America. in the United States, absolutely not. Absolutely not fair, if all things are considered. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, no chance. No, absolutely not. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yeah, no. Definitely not. Not, Definitely even, not. Even, not even close. The problem with a lot of them is that they just would rather, be they'd rich. rather be dead than see poor people be rich or be well off. I mean, I, I, I know people in America think of Gaddafi as a negative guy, but let's go back to Libya. Libya, free education, free electricity. Gaddafi was slaughtering people in the streets. He was slaughtering people in the streets. So it's a six of this, it's, half dozen the other. I just think capitalism is stupid and it doesn't work. I mean, obviously, look at our country, it doesn't work. Okay, can we pause it there for one second? My favorite is when people who are wearing things that they bought at a store that are much nicer than anything they could get in a communist country are like, capitalism obviously doesn't work. She said while wearing a sweatshirt that she got at a store and sunglasses she got at a store and carrying a purse that she got at a store. Yes, communism is obvious. It's, just look at our country. It doesn't work. Mm. Yes. Mm. How is it possible for billionaires to even exist in this country? And you've got the most, mo most starving, suffering people on the f in, in the richest country in the world. Now, wait a second. You come from Zimbabwe. I, More people are starving in Zimbabwe than here. I, they, they sold me a f lemon. Okay, stop it there. Wait, if you come from Zimbabwe to the United States and then you think that you were sold a lemon, you're not on this planet. Zimbabwe is one of the worst places to live on the planet. Also, like, I noticed that you have some sunglasses, nice Nike sweatshirt right there. Like, the, the, the notion that, that other places around the world are better than the United States is rooted in either insanity or complete ignorance. We have the most starving people on the planet? No, we absolutely 100% do not. We do not have nearly the number of starving people that pretty much every other country on the planet has, which is why people were clamoring to get here. I noticed there was not a lot of reverse immigration from the United States to Zimbabwe, for example. I just think people shouldn't even be able to make as much money as they do. So you think there should be a, a cap on income? Yes, fully. Uh, what we're looking at is serfdom. What percentage should be paid by the top 1%? Probably 60%. 70 or 80 percent. I think if they could kick it up to 75 to 80, that would be good, man. Hit them up for 80 percent. They need to be freaking taxed. Well, what's wrong with 90 percent? 90 percent is, I like you. I love you, man. 90 percent. That's 90 percent. 95 percent. Dude, I they think- They can live on 5 percent. I think they can live on 5 percent, man. I get where you're going with this, man. I, I, I totally agree. 99 percent of their wealth. Why should people with less money be paying more than billionaires when they literally don't have that money to pay in the first place. Why this? Do you think it makes it makes me sad for democracy. I mean truly this makes me sad for democracy. That people want to make tax policy like what do you think that people who are richer than you should pay? Everything. 120% of their wealth. Why should they have more money than I am? I mean, here I am in the middle of the day in a park. <laughs> I assume this is a work day. Like maybe they have more money than you because they're not walking around in a park in the middle of the day. Maybe. Hmm. So do you think that the poor pay a higher percentage of their income? Yes. Or the rich? They, they do pay a higher percentage the of their poor. income. Yeah, they do, yeah. Oh, the lower class, definitely. Pay more. Yeah. Lower income people. Poor people. people. So the 1% earn about 25% of all the income in America. So well, there you go. If we're talking about fair share, right. then, you know, if you're bringing in 25% of the income, 25% of the taxes should also- That would be fair. Come, yeah, I would think so, yeah. And would you be surprised if I told you that the top 1% pay 40% of all I taxes? Would be surprised, yeah. Would it surprise you if I said the rich, the 1%, pay 40% of all taxes in America? Interesting. Would surprise me. Yeah. Do they? Yeah. Oh, interesting. So a little, little more fair than you might have thought. Yeah. What percent of income do you think the top 1% pay? I think they're paying like freaking 2% of that. They're paying 27%. What? 27%. What percent of, of their income do you think people at the 50% and below pay? 
probably higher than 27%. It gets higher the lower your income comes. Wait, so what do the number is? I think it's probably over 50. It's 4%. Oh, wow. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I love that interesting is the code word for I'm an idiot. Interesting is like, oh, it, that is interesting. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm still going to vote for all the same politicians who've been lying to me. And I'm still going to say next time somebody asks me on the street that the rich should pay more taxes. But it is interesting that you're completely exploding my worldview with like one sentence. Sure. Interesting. 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 Always interesting. Yeah, that sounds fair. Man. Yeah. I, I, need, to, I need to study up more on this, man. Good for him. I, all right. I, Look, seriously, good for that guy. All right. Numbers. Did that surprise you? Yes. Does that seem more fair? Uh, that, yeah, it would be pretty fair. Oh, wow. Yes, I would. I didn't know that. Is that surprising? Yes. Does that seem more fair? Because I feel like it's, I mean, I, well, yeah, it would definitely seem fair. Tell yes. me that's that, the reality? 100%. Wow. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Seems like the bottom should pay a little more. <laughs> well, oops. Well, oops. As you can see, a huge number of Americans know nothing about the actual tax rates in the United States. All they know is what the media keeps saying over and over. And they know that Bernie Sanders told them that the rich are paying the fair share, even though I have three houses. And they know that Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez is like, well, that's what they know. Those are all the things they know. They don't know any of the actual stats, which is why we have to remind them of the actual stats, like this one. According to the Congressional Budget Office report on distribution of taxes in 2013, the top 1% of households paid 34% of their income to federal taxes. The middle 20%, paid 12.8%. The top 20% of income households, they paid an average in 2013 of almost $60,000 into federal tax coffers when you include any wealth transfers they were paid by the government. The fourth highest quintile, meaning like the people between 20 and 40%, they paid like 2,600 bucks. The middle quintile actually made money from the feds. And the second lowest quintile made $12,200. The lowest quintile made like almost $9,000 from the federal government. Here's the bottom line. According to the American Enterprise Institute, the highest income quintile, like the top 20%, are financing 100% of the entire system of transfer payments to the bottom 60% and also funding the entire operation of the federal government. So, yeah, actually, it turns out that if you were to compare the United States to, for example, Europe, we have the most progressive federal tax system among all OECD 24 countries because we don't tax poor people and we tax very, very rich people extraordinarily highly. You know, everybody wants to live like Denmark without getting taxed like Denmark. The thing about living like Denmark is that you also have to tax people at middle income at extraordinarily high rates. But nobody wants to do that. So they just lie. They just bitch and moan about the rich and the rich to this and the rich to that. At a certain point, the rich will just go galt. And then you're all going to be left to fend for yourselves is sort of the way things are probably going to go. And a quick note, good on some of these people for actually acknowledging that they were wrong about all of this. Now we'll see if that actually translates into stopping their vote patterns. Don't vote for Democrats who lie to you should be the message. Thanks for taking a look at this video with me. If you want to check out the entire Ami Horowitz video, head on over to dailywire.com.